Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Mona in Hobart, Tasmania. Amazing to think that a small town of 200,000 would have one of the most spectacular contemporary arts museum in the world. To go to the museum from downtown Hobart, the best option is to catch the Mona Ferry, which provides a nice cruise up the Derwent River from the city docks. <laughs> After 25 minutes on the boat, we arrive at the museum. The museum looks very small from the outside, but that's because it was dug into the rock. To get to the collections, the best is to take the stairs down all the way to the bottom of the building. Just like the name of the museum, the building itself is a constant mix of old and new. Everywhere in the building there is concrete, steel and wood intertwined with the natural stone of the walls. The N in Mona stands for New Art, which is primarily what this museum is famous for. I loved the 3D visual effect of this piece. Some of the art in the museum will put a smile on your face like this oversized sports car. We also love those two scooters who seem to be madly in love with each other. No clue what this was, but it was really fun. This rug was from an artist from Uzbekistan trying to deconstruct the century-old craft of rug making. We also love this traditional African wood carving with a touch of modernity. Some of the art in the museum is interactive and as a simple visitor you actually become an artist. Sort of. Here we are dealing with a real artist in action, not a visitor who decided to grab a brush and just paint. Too bad our camera couldn't do justice to this really cool strobe light piece. Some of the art is actually quite disturbing. And as always with modern art, some of the art is controversial. This piece in particular seems to anger people who wonder how this could be art. This piece also gets lots of people fired up. It is a machine that gets fed twice a day, digests the food through these tubes and bowls, and poops it out on the other end in this glass container. Some of the art will make you think. For example, is this an eye or a planet? What if there were no books? The O in Mona stands for old art, and there is also some of that, although a lot less than new art.
but after three hours spent in this awesome museum, it was finally time to leave. But while waiting for the ferry back to Hobart, we still had a bit of time to kill in that little cafe. That's it guys, we hope you enjoy your time at the Moda, an awesome, awesome place. If you want to see more videos about Tasmania, click on the picture on the left, and if you want to subscribe to our channel, click on the picture on the right, and you'll be the first to know when we upload our next video.